Hallelujah. Hallelujah, 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 hallelujah. I praise you, Lord. I worship you, I worship you, I worship you. I give you glory, I give you glory, I give you honor, I give you praise, Lord. Lord Jesus, this evening, O Master God, we come before you, Lord, asking for your grace and your mercy, believing and confessing that you are the only one God, the one true God, hallelujah. That to God, hallelujah, this is Jesus, hallelujah. O oh Lord, hallelujah, Jesus, Jesus. Thank you, Brother Anupam. Sorry for a few minutes late. I was a little stuck here and there. Lot of interruptions. Bahu sare itna rukhavat aa rahi hai. To thoda sa der ho gaya. Sorry, maaf kar dijiyega. And uh, now I am back and I am full time here for the next uh, the season for the whole whole of the season. Or apke or sister sabdam ko or apke ministry sa jo bhi saw kar bhiya hai sab ko. Mera family ka or se, mera ministry ka taraf se, or sab ki taraf se. Who issue machine ka naam se. Bahut, 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 shukriya, bahut, thanks, hallelujah. Yes, hallelujah, let us pray. Father, in Jesus' name, we come before you, Lord, asking for your grace and your mercy, believing and confessing that the only one God, the one true God, and there is no one else like you. Lord Jesus, you are the one, hallelujah, you are the one who had sent his only begotten son to die for us so that we don't die permanently. So through him, you have given us the eternal life, hallelujah. So you don't, you Lord, you don't look at what you are getting back. You look only one thing that what that you have given us to honor. Lord Jesus, allow us, allow us to hallelujah, allow us to allow us to honor you with our integrity, with our loyalty. And we know, Lord, that you are there for us. So Jesus, we thank you for this point of time. We thank you for your servant, brother, sister, brother Anupam David, sister Shabnam, and he, all his people. All his ministry, Master God, O oh Lord, use him more and more by your grace, by your mercy, by your by your by your calling that you have imputed in him, Lord. Lord, I know that oh God, you are there for us, and you you have united us together. This is a divine connection, and this connection no one can savor, no one can cut, because you have united us. We thank you, Master, for this, O oh Lord. We give you all the glory, honor, and praise in Jesus' precious name. We pray. Amen. Amen. And amen. फ्रेंड्स आज के दिन में आज मैं आपको बता रहा हूँ जो द रियलिटी ऑफ ह्यूमन लाइफ वाई यू आर बॉर्न एज अूमन बींग्स उसका पहले मैं बताऊँ दिस इज आफ्टर लॉन्ग दैट आई एम कमिंग ऑन दिस प्लेटफॉर्म इसके बीच में मेरा तरफ से बहुत ही प्रॉब्लम आ गया था आई वॉज कोविड पॉजिटिव एंड ट्वेंटी वन डेज आई वॉज इन होम क्वारंटाइन and then i was very weak i could not take any season i had to cancel many seasons but ultimately god has to be thanked ishwar ka mahima ho ishwar ka dhanyawad karte hain shukar guzar the jo unhone fir dobara mujhe laya and for us 10 days i have been ministering again and through all your prayers and all your love and care and by the grace of god i am back again and that's how when brother anupam said so i accepted and uh, i am back here this is the glory of this is for the glory of god thank you jesus amen hallelujah okay now back again to the message today we i am just going to talk to you about the reality of the humanity reality of the humanity why we are a human being say because we are because we are the human beings we have an identity because we are because we have we have an identity we have a reality and what is the reality the reality is that we are the children of god and god has created us in his image with power and authority and he has and he has made us his in his image are you with me he has made us in his image he he has he has not allowed us in the first instance jab unhone hame srishti kiya tha tab unhone ek एक बात बोला था हाल लिए टू हिज फर्स्ट क्रिएशन दैट दैट उन्होंने उन्होंने एक वार्निंग दिया था एक चेतावनी दिया था हाल लिया माई हिंदी इज वेरी बैड ब्रदर ब्रदर अनुपम नो सो आई विल ट्राई टू मिक्स अप हिंदी एंड इंग्लिश फॉर द मैसेज फॉर द प्रीचिंग सो प्लीज फॉर गिव मी इफ देर इज एनी रॉन्ग वर्ड यूज और एनी थिंग प्लीज फॉर गिव मी फॉर दैट एनी वे आई प्लीज पे फॉर मी फॉर माई हिंदी एंड प्लीज पे फॉर द मैसेज दॉड गॉड टच द पीपल who will be joining or listening to the message see here god god had created us in his image that is a fact that is a reality and the bible says that 
So we trust in the word of God to the Bible because Bible is a manual of our life and Bible brings the life eternal. Hallelujah. So God's intention, God's, God's intention, the divine intention of God was that he will not let us die. Let there be no death. That is the intention of God. That's why when he created Adam and Eve, then he, he created them in his image and he is an eternal God. He does not die. He is not a God made out of the hands of somebody. He is not that God. He is a God eternal. From the very beginning till the very end, He is there. And He will never be changing. He is an unchanging God. He is, hallelujah, He is unchanging God. And He is Jehovah. And in the Old Testament is Jehovah. In the New Testament is Jesus. The same God. And Jesus said, I and my Father are one. So Jesus, hallelujah, He is there for us. He is here. And He is going to take us into a life of eternal, life of eternity. Hallelujah. You are there. And you will be there. And because Jesus Christ wants you to remain eternal. Hallelujah. The Bible says, God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son. That anyone, anyone believes in him will not perish but will have eternal life. So God doesn't want us. Again the Bible says, in the book of God hates, God does not have any pleasure in death. So when he created the first man and the first woman, he, he, he warned them against death. He said, that if you take the fruit of the of the tree, oh, jo biksha hai, usse tum jo center point mein hai garden mein, usse tum uska fall tum khaoge, tum mosyor mar jaoge. Hallelujah. But tumko marne ka liye, I have not created you to die. I don't want you to encounter any death. And the Bible says, same God, the eternal God, the same God who was there in the beginning of the creation, and the same God today. The same God today, through His words, are talking to us that we must have an eternal life. Hallelujah. And the way and the truth and the life is Jesus. Hallelujah. His name is Jesus, is the Christ. He gives us the eternal life. Are you with me this evening? So He is, He is, He was, and He will be forever. So God is a God who has given you and me the life eternal. Even though the death comes, even though even though many things happen in our lives and we, we, we lose our mortal body and it goes back to the dust from where we have come from. But I tell you our spirit has to go back to the Lord. The Lord wants us to our spirit. That's why when Jesus died on the cross, the issue Mashiach, hallelujah, the issue Mashiach, Uriya Shandarawajab Unhone, Krushpar Abne Jeevan Ka Kurban Kar Diyata, he uttered during the process, hallelujah. So he uttered seven words. He uttered seven words. And the sixth word he said, this finish, so khatam ho gaya. Means he has finished all the work on this planet earth and he is now to be glorified. His time has come to go back. But before going back, Bible says that he breathed his last only when he said, after he said that, Father, unto thy hand I commit my spirit. He gave it to us to be freely available. Hallelujah. By people, 120 people, and I tell you today to give you an eternal life. The Holy Spirit is here today through Jesus. The Jesus has hallelujah, hallelujah. The, he is the giver of the eternal life. Oh, Apko by his holy spirit hallelujah by his holy spirit you are going to get into the eternal life that is that is your gifted proposition hallelujah you cannot die even though Bible, Jesus said I am the resurrection and life 1125 of John he says I am the resurrection and life 
पुनरुत्थान जीवन और पुनरुत्थान मैं हूँ आई एम द रिजरेक्शन एंड लाइफ एनी बडी कम्स टू मी विल नॉट डाई इवन इफ इट डाइज लिव अगेन हाल लू दैट्स वॉट इज द मिशन ऑफ जीसस फॉर कमिंग टू द्लान आउट ही स्पोक अबाउट द इटर्नल लाइफ ही बी केम एन एग्जाम्पल लिविंग एग्जाम्पल बाई राइजिंग अप फ्रॉम द डेथ एंड टूडे एज वी आर गोइंग for the of the title of the, of the subject of the message is prophetic revival there is a revival hallelujah the prophetic revival the prophetic revival that takes place in the life of the people who follow jesus the prophetic revival that takes place in the lives of the people who believe in jesus that takes place in the lives of the people who stand in jesus that takes place who hallelujah that takes place who oh, hallelujah ya shandalava the prophetic revival i'm talking to you ah oh, hallelujah i'm talking to you about the prophetic revival thank you sister rohini meeting you after such a long gap hallelujah god is ya shandalava shakalava god is going to speak to you today god is going to take you out of all the bondages he is going to redeem you he is going to redeem you hallelujah he is going to set you free and you are there you are there ya shandalava shakalava you are are there when you follow jesus when you meet jesus personally and you accept him as a personal savior there is a revival in your life you are restored hallelujah to you are restored to to eternity you get into a you get into a situation you get into a situation where you become a person hallelujah who cannot die even though you may die i want to tell you even though you may die physically but your life your life will be transformed are you with me your life will be changed because of the eternal life that god has gifted you through jesus out of his grace and the grace is a gift of god that's what the bible says and i am telling you today that the uh, that the bible is the life manual and 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 jesus christ hallelujah and jesus christ is your lord is your savior is your redeemer and he gives you the life hallelujah he takes you up in his hands he takes you up in his fold and he takes you into a new situation he takes you into a process of a prophetic process of prophetic revival and he will allow you he will allow you hallelujah he will allow you to get into something which is called as reality of a humanity you are a human being you have an identity you are a human being you have an authority you are a human being you have a power of attorney say with me i have a power of attorney you are not an ordinary person you are a person who has something great hallelujah and you have an identity that you are you are a chosen vessel of god you have a responsibility you cannot sit back at home and simply say i am a christian as a christian hallelujah you are a you are a child of god as a christian you are a follower of jesus so jesus said if anyone believes in me if anyone loves me he will he do the same thing which i am doing even greater things he will do i want to tell you today that you will do greater things hallelujah great things you have to do hallelujah the life or your shandalaba the life eternal the life eternal ultimately ultimately you have to you have to go hallelujah but in the world in the world hallelujah we have got so many temptations in this world we have got so many confrontations in the world hamare paas kitna problems hai hamare paas kitna kuch hai jo hamare virodh jate hain there are always temptations there are always you know and, and jesus says in his words that you change your inner being hallelujah what does jesus do jesus changes the inner being are you with me jesus changes the inner being that's what apostle paul talks about the best of example of the transformation of the revival is is the apostle paul who was shawl and he was a persecutor he wanted to destroy the entire christian community he destroy and he even took a letter from the high priest so that nobody can stop him in his mission he started going to the way to damascus with his gang hallelujah totally prepared to destroy the christian community but there was a calling coming into his life oh hallelujah that's what god does when you are going into destruction when you are going into a troublesome period when you are going through a period when the phase of your life which is not not so oh, easily bearable for you so god wants you to 
get into a prophetic revival. Say with me the prophetic revival. God wants you to. When Jesus was born, there was a prophetic revival. Hallelujah. The virgin conceived. Oh, hallelujah. The virgin conceived. And this and this will happen by the Holy Spirit. And today, the same Holy Spirit is here who is taking you for Jesus into a life eternal. So the, from, from, from the very beginning of the creation, from the very beginning of the creation, God has been opting, God has been desiring for you and I to get into a life eternal. Are you with me this evening? So if you are with me this evening, turn your Bibles to the book of Genesis, chapter, 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 chapter 3, verse 4. It says, Hallelujah, it says that, And the serpent said unto the woman, You shall not surely die. See, what a tempting word. And we go, hallelujah, we go a little, we, we, we go a bit, we go a bit further up. In the same book of Genesis, chapter 2, verse 17, we find here, But of the tree of the knowledge of good and evil, thou shalt not eat of it. For in the day that thou eat, est thereof, thou shalt surely die. This is the word of God. And the devil, the enemy, who is still roaming around the world, around this world, around us, as a roaring lion to devour, to find out whom he can devour. Same devil in the, in the, in the, we have seen, he says to, to Eve that he will not die. Hallelujah, because God told you, God told you, if you take that fruit, you will die. So he wanted to distort the word of God. And the same devil is trying to do it today. He, he walks in our inner being. He changes the word of God. वो हमारे जो अंदर में ये परमेश्वर का जो बचन बैठा हुआ है उसको हटा के उनका बचन को देते हैं सी दिस इज द वर्ल्ड इवन ही डिड इट टू जीसस क्राइस्ट इवन ही डिड द सेम थिंग इन द विल्डरनेस ही सेड यू बाउ डाउन टू बी सी दैट दिस आर ऑल माइन आई विल गिव यू ऑल दिस बट ही डिड ही ये जीसस सेड यू कैन नॉट टेन द लॉर्ड योर गॉड आई वांट टू टेल यू समथिंग टुडे इफ यू बिलोंग टू जीसस एंड यू मस्ट बिलोंग टू जीसस देयर इज नो अदर वे व्हेन यू बिलोंग टू जीसस you 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 are more than conqueror you the devil cannot do they will cannot tell you lies they will cannot do tempt you they will cannot do any crooked things in you or for you kabhi aapko kuch nahi kar sakte hain aapko kuch bigad nahi sakte hain because he is a defeated foe wo to hara hua hai you are more than conqueror say with me i am more than conqueror say with me that i am uh, i am on the winning side hallelujah because jesus is the winner man i want to tell you that you are on the winning side jesus is a winner man jesus is a winner man and he has chosen you say jesus has chosen me i want to tell you today jesus has chosen you to bear fruit he has appointed you oh aap ne niyukt kiya hai oh kira shandarawa you are not an ordinary person you are segregated you are you are segregated from the crowd you have a special identity you are a special person you are hallelujah you are you are a precious one you are a chosen vessel and god is telling you devil is always trying to tempt you devil is always trying to distort the word of god or is discreet disturbances in your within he is trying to create a disturbance of peace in you he is he is, he is trying to disturb your smooth living but i just told you jesus is alive he is still alive he came down from heaven he went to the cross and he he had performed mighty miracles and he has still been performing same miracles in your life and our lives through jesus the holy spirit his words are alive his words are living and powerful my friend you stand on the word of god my friends you stand on the word of god as firm foundation jesus is the word of god when you follow jesus you don't get into any religious bondage when you follow jesus you don't get into denominational doctrinal teachings or belongingness you are set free from all the bondages hallelujah galatians chapter 5 verse 1 says that the liberty that jesus has given hallelujah the liberty the set setting free hallelujah the redemption redemption are you are a purchased possession say i am a purchased possession you are sealed by the holy spirit as a guarantee or ya shandaraba he has guaranteed you as a purchased possession of god jesus christ has paid 
Jesus Christ has paid the most valuable price. He has paid the ransom for your redemption. And you are, you are today, you are today set free. You say, I am set free. There is no bondage because of the grace of God that you have received as a gift from gift to Jesus. Hallelujah. Your sins are forgiven. Your transgressions are over, away from you. And you are a new creation. Old things have passed away. And behold, everything has come to, come to be new. I tell you today that Jesus Christ is the Lord Almighty. Jesus Christ, hallelujah. There is a prophetic revival. The prophetic, say with me, the prophetic revival. Prophetic revival must take place. And there is no time. There is no moment. There is no period. There is, there, it happens now. This is not how it's happened now. Jesus is going to perform prophetic revival in your life. You are going to enter into summer. You are going to enter into a, into a process of prophetic revival. And through that prophetic revival, you are going to, you are going to thrash. You are going to smash. You are going to destroy every trick of the enemy. Because you have the power. Say, I have the power. Jesus has the power and Jesus has given you the power. The Father created you in His image. And you are, Bible says, in the book of Romans chapter 8 verse 29, that you are, you are predestined and foreknown to be conformed to the image of Jesus Christ. Jesus is the image of the image of God. Invisible God, the Bible says. And again the Bible says that you are complete in Jesus. You are complete in Jesus. Aapke andar ka sare cheat jo hai, jo purana jivan hai, jo aapko beech beech mein, aapko, aapko kabhi kabhi disturb karte hai. Something might be disturbing you. Some of your old facts which have caused miseries in your life may be coming back to disturb you. But I tell you today that you are more than conqueror. Some of the old things that you have almost forgotten, but again they come back as the memories in your mind and keeps disturbing you and you get disturbed. You don't know what to do. So what happens to you? You get really disturbed. And then I tell you that Jesus is there, your Redeemer. He washes everything away. He sets you back into a life of peace. The peace that surpasses all understanding. The peace that Jesus alone can give you. The peace that the world cannot give you. It is only Jesus who gives you the peace. And I want to encourage you today that Jesus Christ is alive. And Jesus Christ seated on the throne of grace of God. Seated on the right hand side of His Father interceding for you. You will not die. Hallelujah. That's the devil says. You will not die. But God said that if you, if you disobey me, if you take your own state, if you take that fruit from the tree of the center point in the garden of Eden, you will die. And my pleasure is not there in death. In the book of Ezekiel, God says, I have no pleasure in death. That's why you turn back and leave. And there is a way out, the life after death, that is eternal life. That the Bible says, turn back and leave. Even if you have fallen from the presence of God, even if you have walked away from your previous way of living as a true Christian, even if you have, even if you have walked away from the, from the life that you have led thus far, but God is going to restore you back. God is going to restore you back. Today is the day that God is going to work a prophetic revival in your life. God is going to work a mighty thing in your life. God is going to do a thing that a man cannot do. God is, he has already purchased you by the blood of his son Jesus. The blood that was said on the Calvary's cross. The blood, the, the precious blood. That was said on the Calvary's cross has purchased you. You are a purchased possession. You are a purchased possession. I am a purchased possession. Hallelujah. And you are sealed. Aapko mohrankit, mudrankit kiya gaya hai. By the anointing of the Holy Spirit. You cannot do that. You stand still and know that is your God. Stand still. Wait upon the Lord. Any situation that troubles you. Anything that disturbs you. Just come to the Lord. Stand still and know that He is your God. He is going to redeem you. He is going to set you free from all the odd thoughts, all odd problems and wrong situations. God is a God. He is not a temporary God. 
He is a permanent God, is an eternal God, and He has given His eternal life. That's why He said to Eve and Adam that you don't eat that fruit so that you don't die because I don't want you to die. But the devil comes and says, no, 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 don't believe, don't trust in God. That's what the devil does today also. He comes to work in our mind. He says, don't do that. Believe in me. I am your king. Hallelujah. That's what the devil says. And he tempts us with wrong things, wrong words. And he's so much, his words are so powerful that we get into that. You get, we get into those. And I just want to tell you that Jesus Christ, he has finished every work. And if you look, if you go to the book of Romans chapter 16 verse 20, it says that Jesus Christ, hallelujah, God has given us, the God of peace has given us the power to cross the devil under our feet. You have the authority, my brother. You have the authority, my sister, to cross the devil under your feet. You are more than conqueror. You are someone who can, hallelujah, you who can, who can stand as a conqueror. Your temptations, your old thoughts, your things that have been disturbing you will never prevail when you have Jesus as your ruler, as your, as your, as your mentor, as your God, your savior, your deliverer. The world is full of temptations, my dear beloved sisters and brothers, my dear friends. The world is full of temptations. In the world many things come. In the world many things happen that you and I cannot imagine. You and I cannot solve by our own power. But I tell you that there is Jesus who has the power above all. There is Jesus who had come in the human flesh uh, 2000 years ago and he walked on the streets of Galilee. Look at me. He could have easily come to the womb of the king, the queen of Herod and controlled everything so luxuriously, comfortably. But he did not do that. He did not choose. He, cho he chose, hallelujah, an, a virgin womb. And the Bible says, in those days, he, this, 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 this woman was found the most blessed. When he finds you most blessed, he comes to you, hallelujah. He can choose as you to bear fruit. And, 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 and that woman named Mary, she bore fruit to the Holy Spirit. She conceived the Lord God Almighty, the creator of the heaven and earth. And today, and today the same Jesus is seated on the right hand of the Father and watching over every situation that you and I are going through. Don't think you are alone. You are not alone. You are, hallelujah. You are not alone. God is, God is taking you out of all the temptations. God is taking you out of all the bondages. God is taking you out of all the wrong situations. God is taking you out of all the frustrations. God is taking you of all the, out of all the sufferings. He is going to take you out of all the wrong situations that is disturbing you. I want to encourage you, my friends. I want to encourage you, my brother, my sister, 27 years that God has allowed me to walk with him. And hallelujah, 20, 20 years, more than 20 years, nearly 21 years in a direct ministry with, for God. Hallelujah, in different nations of the world, all that I have gathered, I am just giving to you. I am not saying that what? I am telling you today the Holy Spirit is your helper. Holy Spirit is there, your helper. And take into take into that syndrome of the anointing. Say anointing. Tell me that anointing. Say with me the anointing. Can you say anointing? The anointing is the presence of God. Anointing is the power of God. Anointing is something that Jesus gives you to the Holy Spirit. Hallelujah. And the Bible says in the book of Acts chapter 10 verse 38, Hallelujah, that the, and God so anointed Jesus Christ he, that he went on doing good things, casting out demons and performing miracles. You, my sister, you, my brother, he, when the anointing comes upon you, you are getting into a new life. You are getting into, God says, you, will, you, will, you cannot die. I don't want you to die. God says that you cannot die in sins. I was a man for 42 years of my life, was full of sins. I was full of pride. I was full of, so many wrong things in the world, bad habits. 
But God, one day when I was totally frustrated, disappointed, and finished and wanted to commit suicide on the belief by believing, Job me dusra janam lena hai because I used to believe in my in my those religious faith. I used to believe for the seven bars of humankind. So I wanted to commit suicide. My conscience told me that the life I was not I was living was not a perfect life. So according to my own consciousness, out of my own consciousness. I said consciousness. So I wanted, I wanted to get into a new life after killing myself, ending my own life. But Jesus, the Redeemer, the Savior, the Giver of the eternal life, He sends His prophet into that Bombay Park on 31st of May 1994 and says that you have, an, you have, you have a new life even I'm in this birth. Are you with me? Can you give a clap offering to Jesus? That is possible when Jesus alone comes into your life, intervenes through His Holy Spirit, convicts your heart, and He takes you into a zone where there is only victory. Victory, victory, victory. But it is not an easy cakewalk. It is not so easy. Christian life is not an easy cakewalk, my friend. When you and I get into the relativity with Jesus, then you and I, according to the will of God, get into a new life but when when we get into the new life even the enemy comes to disturb us even the enemy comes to attack us many things will happen and your temptations will reach out will, your temptations will grow but you are a fighter not only a fighter you are a winner one say i am a winner man i am a winner woman hallelujah say with me you are winner you are a winner person hallelujah you are on the winning side because Jesus is the winner one. You are, you are something which has been, who has been identified as a precious child of God. You are somebody whom God has called, chosen and appointed to bear fruit. You are a fruit bearing Christian. You just cannot be, I just cannot, we cannot be just a praying Christian church-going Christian, Bible-carrying Christians. We are the Christians who had to set revolution. Hallelujah! We had to create revolution. Jesus was a revolutionary. He was a radical one. He came from heaven, created a revolution. He walked on the streets of Galilee. He did not have a place, proper place to sleep. He did not have a place to rest his head, as the Bible says. But he walked with power and authority from his father. He tells the lame man, the lame man walked. He tells the blind man, the blind man saw. He tells the dead man, the dead man heard. He tells the dead body, and dead body comes back to life. And he gives you and me the eternal life. That's why the Bible says that today's topic is this, that you will not die. You will not die. You cannot die because Jesus has given you the eternal life. Whatever the religious community belong to, Whatever the faith in the denominational doctrine you have been possessing, but I tell you, it is not necessary, but it is necessary that you must understand that your life is valuable. Your life is from God. God has breathed into your nostrils. Hallelujah. God had breathed into your nostrils. God had by breathing into your nostrils. God has given you, made you a living soul. And then, and in, in the book of John chapter 20 verse 22, Jesus after his resurrection, he comes to the upper room where his people had assembled and he breathed into, onto them and said, receive the Holy Spirit. That's what Jesus, just as Jesus is doing it today to give you a new life. His breath, the pneuma, the Greek word is pneuma. Your pains, your sufferings, your trials, your troubles, your past life, everything has been finished on the cross of Calvary. And then, during a period of three days, there was something going on. The revival, the process of revival, the prophetic revival, under the, under the grave where he went and preached the gospel to the evil spirits, that the Bible says, and then he rose up from the dead to give you a new life of resurrection and victory. 
Samuel, I'm more than conqueror. You have the victory. Don't, don't brood over your past. Don't think of what has happened in before. But, but have a speed of discernment. I tell you many times, the old things will come back to you. Many times, many times, different things will come back to you. But, but the Bible says, must have the speed of discernment. Don't run. Don't run because somebody, somebody has been talking to you very politely. Don't run because something that has been, has been coming to you which is not expected to come. But go to the Holy Spirit. Ask Him to discern the right and wrong for you. Your life is valuable, my dear brother, my dear sister. Your life is really precious. You are a precious one of God. God has created you in His image. Hallelujah. So your life, your life has to be selected through the discernment of spirit. Are you with me? Discern. Discern what is wrong and what is right. As the Holy Spirit. That's why we need the Holy Spirit all the time. Jesus was born by the Holy Spirit. He grew by the Holy Spirit. Luke chapter 2 verse 52. Jesus went to the river Jordan and the Holy Spirit comes down on him in the form of a dove. Then he comes out of the river Jordan with power of the Holy Spirit and goes to the wilderness. And then he comes out of the wilderness by the power of the Holy Spirit and starts a power ministry. And then he calls out 12 disciples and gave them the power and authority over the devil and the demons are you with me and told them go and preach the gospel then after three years and a half of performing so many miracles on this planet earth talking about the kingdom of heaven talking about the eternal life talking about the reality of humanity without any partiality without any any discrimination he went to the cross to give us a victory and a life of conqueror. Then he went to the grave and then he rose up again on the third day and then 40 days he was with the disciples and spoke to them about what they have to do. Hallelujah! And then he went back to his heavenly place and then he was glorified, sit now he's seated there. And on the 50th day he sent the Holy Spirit as a helper according to his promise. That is the prophet in the Bible. The Holy Spirit comes and the Holy Spirit takes us into a new dimension. The Holy Spirit comes. The Holy Spirit is here. The same Holy Spirit who was hovering on this planet earth when the Bible says the earth was without form in Genesis chapter 1 verse 2. The Holy Spirit is your helper. He is paracletos, the big word. The Holy Spirit is your comforter. The Holy Spirit is your teacher. The Holy Spirit is your representative for Jesus. Jesus said, the spirit of truth will come and will convict you of the, of the sin of righteousness and of judgment. The Holy Spirit today is teaching you for something new to happen. The Holy Spirit today is telling you to get into a new dimension. You cannot die. Even your mortal body perishes, but your spirit must go, must go to the Lord. There's a Bible says in the book of Exodus here. You must have that, you must have that attitude preparing yourself. You cannot say God, 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 God and then go into the world. Hallelujah. Our inner beings, you know, our inner beings are always susceptible, vulnerable to get into the wrong things. The temptations of the devil for everybody. We have seen there are many instances of so-called powerful men of God who have fallen in the trap of the enemy. In these days, even in the Bible, it is the Bible, many biblical heroes, they have fallen into the trap of the enemy. So enemy is moving around. He's, he's, he's weakening your faith. He's weakening your mind. He's corrupting your heart and putting into his own words, displacing the words of God that is implanted in you and me. Friends, I want to encourage you. It is very difficult 
to maintain a Christian life, the steadfast faith. That's why Jesus at time and again has talked about the faith. Faith like a master seed, faith like an innocent child, faith that Jesus wants you and me to carry forward for the glory of the Father. Jesus in the human realm, he was complete human, 100% human and also 100% God. The Romans chapter 1 verse 4 says, and same Jesus, he is telling you and me today through the words that be someone to discern the spirit of truth and error. You cannot die. The desire of God is you will not die. You shouldn't die. The desire. That's why when a physical death comes in your life and my life, the human life, automatically there is a there is a there is a support. There is something left over for us. The Bible says in the book of Proverbs 23 verse 18, there is, there is a thereafter. For everything there is a hereafter. For everything there is a hereafter. Are you with me? And your hope will not be crossed. The hope of eternal life can never be crossed. You have a hope. You have a hope of eternal life. And the hope is what is the hope? Hallelujah. Hope is the height of perfect ending. Say with me. Height of perfect ending. These are all that Holy Spirit has taught me. I have not borrowed from anybody. Hope is the H-O-P-E. The height of perfect ending. So faith is the substance which hope for the evidence of which is not seen. So hope is the height of perfect ending and then there is a the grace of God. So faith, hope and grace. So God, the faith comes when you have a hope and for your hope the faith is developed. And by the grace of God your faith is developed. Faith is a gift of God, gift of the Holy Spirit. Are you with me? 27 years walking with the Lord Jesus Christ. It has not been an easy cakewalk for me, my friends. Many things have happened. People have misunderstood me. People have humiliated me, insulted me for no fault of mine. But Jesus Christ has been my steadfast redeemer, my savior, my deliverer, my sealed, my buckler. He is yours. Jesus is totally yours. But are you with Jesus? Are you of Jesus? That is a question mark. Don't compromise. Don't compromise, my friend. Because Jesus has never compromised. At the age of 12, when he was preaching in the synagogue, people were astonished. They said, how come this carpenter's son be so wise? I want to tell you today, my friend, my sister, those who have joined you, there is a life after death. There is a life after death. That is the eternal life. And God says, you cannot die because my desire is not, to, not for you to die. I have no pleasure in death. So turn back and lie. And the lies, you know, Paul says, I die every day. That is not a physical death. That is a death that takes him into a resurrection. Hallelujah. That is a death. That is a death from all the conformities of the world. That is a death that that takes us away from the presence of God. That is a death. The spiritual death. That is a death that disturbs our life with God. But there is Jesus through His Holy Spirit and the words are always there. Are you with me this evening? Come on, let us pray. Father, in Jesus' name, we come before you, Lord, asking for your creation and your mercy. Believing and confessing that you are the only one God, the one true God, there is no one else like you. Lord Jesus, we love you, Lord. Lord, Lord, you have told us that you are the giver of the eternal life. Lord, we tend to get into the worldly conformity. Lord, we tend to get into many things which you don't like. But Lord, because of our worldly living, 
because our bondage is that that overpowers us lord we get into those things which are supposed to be not approved by you but but lord today evening i as your servant stand in the gap between all the people and you lord and proclaim in the victory of the cross and your power of resurrection that you will allow us to get back into the life of prophetic revival through a prophetic revival lord allow us to have that prophetic revival to be performed in the lives of the holy spirit and your words and your blood lord washes us clean lord this evening we are shanna rashikala wali kala badira bala 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 rukala rala kaba dura bala 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 shukuru dori vendhari vela bala bala oh holy spirit come and give us a fresh anointing lord give us a powerful anointing lord a fire anointing lord and to the to the yes lord jesus baptize us and you afresh the holy spirit and fire of jesus you are the anointer lord we are the anointing for the spirit oh hallelujah give us and indwell us and take us into a new dimension of our christian living thank you lord for your servant your brothers anupam yes lord david and sister shabnam david thank you for everyone who has joined this platform thank you for the ministry that you have given to brother david anupam david oh lord let this that this lord let this platform a platform of the light of the world light of the world to be spread yes lord jesus to many nations hallelujah through the preachings of the gospel by many and under servants of yours lord come to it thank you lord for everybody's life that you have given thank you lord for all that oh god that you are giving us as a gift of grace thank you lord jesus thank you lord i bow myself before you lord lord whatever there is a plus points or whatever minus points you know but lord every minus points of mine lord be it absolutely oh god washed away to the completely eradicated completely finished and let me not no longer oh god crucify my flesh let me no longer be in the flesh but in the was start walking in the spirit lord let me crucify my flesh all the time lord let me die oh lord god yes lord jesus let me die every day like apostle paul said and came oh god to be with you yes jesus hallelujah thank you lord thank you master we give you all that glory honor and praise in jesus precious name we pray amen and amen and amen thank you brother anupa once again allowing me to minister from your platform sorry for the interruptions and we are together in these last days when lord jesus is getting ready to come back again i just want to tell you brother we have to prepare many churches for the rapture that is our duty many people who have been lost away they are yes they are working and trying to walk but not so faithfully not so righteously not with loyalty not with integrity but it is our responsibility if we have understood the truth we must bring them back to the truth we must call them to the truth thank you brother anupam thank you sister sadnam thank you for everything god bless you in jesus name amen